This happened a few years ago. They were said, where is the hospital? I said, see, these are all patients who come with this ailment. I'm getting the best out of them. And in 15, 20 days, they're doing fine. If you need a stronger dose, we can do that. But this will be good enough. You will sleep well. Namaskaram Sadhguru. I suffer from insomnia and anxiety. Do you have any tips on how I can sleep better? There are lots of, there are lots of experts here. That even sitting here, they're falling asleep. We could consult them. <laughs> um, you just jump into the Thames and swim upriver for two hours. You will sleep well tonight. Yes, for sure, I'm telling. Now, for everything, we have a name. These things are becoming like qualifications for people. I am an insom insomniac, I am an anorexic, I am this, I am that. I want you to say, I am just a mess up. Don't give it so many scientific names to it. Just say, I am just a mess up. Messed up my body or messed up my mind? One of these things. Yes or no? If you give it such high-sounding names, it will become interesting to be one of these things. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. I have seen thousands and thousands of people who come with this kind of... These are not ailments. These are qualifications that you've taken on because the other qualifications that you have don't amount to much. I'm, I'm sorry I'm speaking like this, but I wanted to know, these are all self-created things. You create a problem and you carry the problem on your head like a jewel. If you bring yourself to a certain balance, if you bring yourself to a certain ease with life, when body needs rest, it will sleep. What is there a big deal about? You must sleep, you must sleep. There's no such thing. If you, if you put in enough activity, it will eat, isn't it? Yes, sir. Now, eating is a problem, sleeping is a problem. See, this has all become a big business, please understand. You must have problems to support the economy of the nation. That's one thing you're doing. <laughs> the pharmaceutical industry, the medical industry, sickness industry is going on big time because everybody is carrying these things like they are some kind of crowns that they're wearing. You bring your system to a certain level of ease with involvement, nothing else. There's no treatment for this. This happened a few years ago. Now uh, we've refined the name and now it's called Isha Rejuvenation Center. There was a time when we called it the yogic hospital. When it was a yogic hospital, when I was directly involved in it, a few doctors from the United States came. They wanted to see the yogic hospital because they had seen the case histories, how people have recovered and everything. They came. After the third day in the ashram, the people informed me at the ashram, Sadhguru, these doctors are very angry, they want to leave. I said, what happened? They are asking, where is the yogic hospital? Oh, then I got the point, okay. Then I met this group, said, they were said, like this. I said, where is the hospital? So you, I said, your idea of a hospital is beds, people lying down on it, ten people attending to them. That's not my idea for hospital. I'll take you around and I took them into the garden and into the fields and said, see, these are all patients who come for this ailment, that ailment, that ailment. I'm getting the best out of them. And you will see in 10-15 days, they will be doing fine. <laughs> we have given them practices, they wake up at 4.30 in the morning, do three hours of sadhana, then do two hours of work, then eat one meal, then work, then eat. By the evening, they want to eat whatever is given to them. And night, they fall dead and wake up in the morning. 
and in 15-20 days they're doing fine because there are some ailments which are infectious in nature. They come from outside. These are invasions from other organisms. We have to deal with it medically. Medicine is needed because something else has invaded our system. But over 70% of the ailments on the planet are self-created. Why would your body create ailment for you? You're doing something wrong, isn't it? You're not able to sleep. What do you think is wrong? I want you to figure it, all of you. If you're not able to sleep, what do you think is wrong? One thing is maybe l lack of physical activity, most probably that's a thing. Another thing is, your mind is in a mental diarrhea. Once it is going like this, what goes on? We have no control. Fear will happen, anxiety will happen, disturbances will happen. And your involvement with the world is gossipy. You're not involved as life. You're involved as a social person, understand? Your society is only a consequence. It is not the basis of your life. Yes or no? Existence is the basis. Society is just a consequence. We could have lived in the jungle. It would be too difficult to organize everything for each individual, so we decided we will live in London. That's all. It's only a consequence of a certain pursuit. It is not the basis of your existence. Right now, society has become the basis of your existence. So you cannot sleep. Because everybody is running through your mind. You just have to get this back to its natural orientation. Shambhavi Mahamudra is a simple process in that direction. If you need a stronger dose, we can do that. But this will be good enough, you will sleep well. But today you must walk home, however far it is. Okay? Just pull up your boots and just walk. Oh, but it'll be 2 a.m. when I reach. It's all right, but you'll sleep. Time you do something. You don't do the fundamentals right and you're trying to fix the surface. It's not going to work. Just join the local football team. You will sleep well. People who are working physically, manually on the street, you just see, they'll sit on a truck and sleep off. It doesn't matter how cold it is, how rough it is. Have you seen that? Because they put in enough activity. And you are not a social being as society is trying to sell it to you. You are a human being. Society is a consequence. We can live in society or we can live out of society. You can live with it or without it. It is only a convenience. It is not the source of your existence. Right now, society, you're treating psychologically as if it's a source of your existence. What somebody says about you, what somebody thinks about you, you're concerned about all this. What is somebody thinking about me? What is... Nobody's thinking about you. They're busy with their own rough stuff. You think everybody's thinking about you through the day? Believe me, they're not. They got their own stuff going. <laughs> when you close your doors, if you can leave London out and only you go to bed, you will sleep. You want to sleep with London, it doesn't work. I'm going at this this way because people are constantly inventing problems for themselves. Anything that happened to you as an ailment without an external influence is your making. Yes or no? Is it okay? It's your making. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's your making, uh, we have to look, why are you making up these things? Simple tips you want, no tips. One tip is you must walk home today. You will sleep for sure. <laughs> Do Shambhavi every day, twice a day, you will sleep. Mm -hmm.